Hello friends, welcome to the Take Better Photos channel. In my last video, I talked about the best new features of On One Photo Raw 2024. In that video, I said that the standout feature of this release, aside from its simplified and snappier UI, was Brilliance AI, which intelligently enhances the color and tone of raw images with the power of AI. In this video, I'm going to expound on Brilliance AI by talking about five ways to edit with it so you get maximum quality results no matter your level of editing skill or the amount of time you want to spend touching up your photos. So let's get right into it. The first way to edit with Brilliance AI is by one-click editing. On One promises that with Brilliance AI, you'll get incredible looking images in a single click. This of course is the easiest and most effortless way of editing. To use it, simply ensure you are in edit mode and under the develop tab, enable Brilliance AI. That's it. As you can see, the results are very good all with one click. As no automatic editing is perfect every time, On One provides an amount slider which you can use to control the strength of the effect. Here is another example. So that is one click editing. Let's move on the second way to edit. The second way to edit is through global adjustments. One great thing about Brilliance AI and what makes it unique compared to other automatic editing tools is that the final result is not really final. You have the ability to override any of Brilliance AI's adjustments. Let's work with this image. Before I do anything else, I'll open the tone and color panel. Next, I'll enable Brilliance AI. Once the AI processing is done, you can see the position of the sliders have changed giving an inside look on how Brilliance AI produced its edit, which is a fantastic teaching tool in and of itself. The current result is a good starting point, but it's not perfect. Thankfully, you can override any of the sliders to perfect your edit. I'll reduce the contrast, bring up the shadows, increase the saturation. Finally, I'll enhance the haze. There a better look. So as you have seen, while you can use Brilliance AI to jumpstart the editing process, in the end, you still have full control over the final results. So that is editing with global adjustments. Let's move on to the third way to edit with Brilliance AI. The third way to edit with Brilliance AI is with local adjustments. If Brilliance AI was limited to just the previous two editing methods, it would already be a very solid achievement. But Brilliance AI is not just limited to global adjustments. It can also perform automatic edits locally on specific objects. To demonstrate this, let's work with this image. I'll turn on Brilliance AI. If you navigate to the regions dropdown, you can see five objects have been detected. I'll select background, animals, and flora, and click apply. Next, I'll navigate to the local panel. As you can see, three layers have been automatically created based on our choices, flora, background, and animal. I'll navigate to the animal layer. Notice that some adjustments have been automatically applied. Notice as well that a mask has been created. To view the mask larger, click the O key. As you can see, in this case, the mask is pretty accurate. No need for further refinement. I'll increase the exposure to make the dog really stand out. Next, let's navigate to the background layer. Once again, press O to view the mask. The mask looks good. I'll reduce the exposure on the background. Once again, as you can see, only the background is affected. 
So that's editing with local adjustments. Brilliance AI allows for pretty sophisticated local adjustments without tedious brushing or manual labor. Now let's move on to the fourth way to edit. The fourth way to edit is with Portrait AI. If you are into editing portraits, Brilliance AI has something for you. Let's demonstrate with this image. First, I'll enable Brilliance AI. The result seems pretty strong. No problem, I'll reduce the effect by reducing the amount slider. There, that's better. Now let's do some portrait retouching. How do we do that? Notice that under the local adjustment section, there is a retouch large faces option. I'll enable that to allow for portrait retouching. Next, I'll navigate to the portrait panel. As you can see, Brilliance AI has generated a mask for the face and has applied automatic adjustments. As usual, you can modify any of those settings. I'll brighten the face, remove the blemishes, and smoothen the skin. Here is the before and the after. So that is editing with Portrait AI. Let's move on to the fifth and final way to edit with Brilliance AI. The final way to edit with Brilliance AI is through batch processing. One benefit of Brilliance AI being an automated technology is you can edit a boatload of raw files without even so much as clicking a button to go to edit mode. Let's demonstrate this. So here I am in browse mode viewing a folder of raw files. Even from the thumbnails, you can see that they are not edited in any way. However, let's say I have to share this to social media ASAP and have errands to run. How to edit all of this on time? Well, it's Brilliance AI to the rescue. Before I use it though, I'll make some quick preference adjustments. I'll click on Edit, then Preferences. I'll click on the Brilliance AI tab. I'll make sure to turn on Noise Reduction if the ISO is greater than 6400. And because there are faces in these images, I'll turn on Portrait AI. I'll leave the rest of the settings untouched. Next, I'll click OK. In the Brilliance AI section, I'll turn on Tone and Color and Local Adjustments. And voila! Just like that, Brilliance AI makes automatic, global, local, portrait, and noise enhancement to all the images in the folder. Problem solved. So there you have it. That's five ways to edit with Brilliance AI. I have to say, in all my years of using and reviewing photo editors, I've never seen an automated raw editing tool with the quality of edits produced by Brilliance AI. It works reliably on a wide variety of raw images, even badly exposed ones. An amazing achievement from the On1 team. Is this the editing of the future? Only time will tell. So I hope you found this video helpful. Let me know what you think of Brilliance AI. Is it really game-changing technology as On1 says? Let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. And if you like this content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share to help keep the videos coming. Until the next video, I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye for now.